Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another StarCraft Brood War upload! And today we have a game between Love TT and Noni here on Python. In the top right hand ish corner of the map, we have the blue purple Protoss player. It is Noni from Team Liquid. And his opponent in the bottom left hand corner of the map, we have the red Protoss player. It is Love TT. Both players, very high APMs for you today. This is from the 2008 WCG. Uh, not the grand finals, but from the quarterfinals. So we're very, very close to being at finals level, which is always very exciting for me to get up to this highest level of StarCraft. Love TT, a very incredible Korean player. And on the other hand, Noni hailing from the United States of America, also very good in his own right, has a huge fan base. I figured players would like to see Noni uh, show up on one of these replays on my channel, and so here we are. Here we are today. So we're at times two speed, because not a whole lot happens here in the early stages. It is a PvP, which uh, I think I've cast one of these before on the channel but it just means both players going for a gateway and they're going to take their gas i just yeah gas is super important in the pvp here if you try to hold this thing with zealots alone you're gonna be in a lot of trouble and both players scouting with probes as you want to do with those probes sneaking on up the ramp let's see who got here first looks like notice is a little bit faster a little bit faster than his opponent love tts which is just wunderbar and the same thing on the other side, scouting around, Cybercore already on the way for Noni, and it looks like Love TT is a little bit behind. A little tiny bit behind when we compare the build orders here. Again, we don't have a build order shower upper in the top left corner, but we do see the gas is already up. The Cybercore is already on the way for the Blue Protoss, whereas on the other side of things, just sitting on a gateway, gas is on the way, but yeah, it is, it is late. It is a little bit behind Noni's here. We'll see. I don't know if that means he's planning on something else, a little bit more sneaky here. Or what, if he's planning on putting a pylon down, which doesn't make any sense unless you're cannon rushing, which against somebody like Noni, where they're following your probe like a hawk, it doesn't seem like it's a great idea. Noni's sitting at 400 APM, I love TT's at 250, both players very, very fast, but Noni, geez, I mean, that's 400 APM is insane. Cybercore just about halfway done now for TT, whereas range for the Dragoons is already beginning, already starting here for Noni. Zealot versus Zealot Micro is always kind of a little bit nuts. Ah, did pick off the scouting probe. Did Noni's Zealot here going to try to kill a probe? Can TT get one? No, he's getting... Oh, he did get one. How did he do that? That's been already weakened. I wish I could see health bars. I really do. Okay, so now the Zealot's days are over. Uh, Dragoon is out. Dragoons are faster than Zealots and outrange them by like a million percent because there is no range on Zealots. They are melee units. I mean, it takes a lot of shots to get him. Well, there we go. I think the Zealot got credit for that kill. Yes, two kills there. Another Zealot showing up. So Zealot harass. The story of the game here from Love TT and will it get shut down is question of the day. It will, but that has got to be three probes at least, possibly four that have died to this early, early Zealot Harass. One Zealot going home, so that explains why the Cyber Core was late. I mean, obviously getting range. range Unranged Dragoons are just horrific. They're really bad units. Probe still scouting around for Noni. Does get picked off eventually, and the higher tech choice is going to be, oh, it's another gateway, actually. So no higher tech at all from Love TT. Just getting another gateway, whereas looks like we still have just the one from Noni holding the ramp with a couple Dragoons and a Zealot. Zealots cannot get through there. They're going to have a ridiculously difficult time doing that one. And like I said, the range on the way for both these players, but much, much further along for Noni. That's what it was. So LFTT did sacrifice some of the early stuff, some of the early uh, upgrades, some of the early Dragoon counts to go for some Zealot Harass. And again, if you kill three to four probes, it might... Oh, so hard to say. So hard to say who won in that particular situation. Robotics Facility on the way. Warping in for our red protoss player and same story same story over here for noni it's just yeah i mean shuttles with reavers are incredible in brood war and they have been for a long time i remember watching some pro replays back in was probably 99 2000 when i started getting into the professional scene of brood war and little the shuttle drops it was all about shuttle drops so many games ended just because somebody had better shuttle drop micro with reavers compared to somebody else. I mean, it was super, super high APM, super low econs for one base versus one base. And I think we still see that in the Brood War. I just don't like to cast those games because there's only, you know, for example, a two minute situation there where, uh, I don't know, it's not really a fun cast if it's one engagement and everybody's dead, you know? Not everybody, one person is dead. 
So do we have a shuttle on the way? Yep, shuttle there for Noni. And we get a shuttle from TT. Love. Love TT. Where are you, friend? Is he not? He's getting an observer. Okay, so we got observatory first. There it is. Huh. I got. I mean, scouting is good, but I guess maybe he could be worried about something else as well. Dark Templar rush is not not something that Noni is, you know, afraid to do. Obviously, support bay there, which means we're gonna get some reaver production as soon as this observer is done for the blue protest player as well. See the mineral field. One mineral and done. Why is there one right here? What did that do for anyone? Is it scouting? I don't know. I don't know what that would be for. But either way, he took the minerals. Noni's probed it and just kind of sitting there with them. Both observers moving out at approximately the same time. We're looking at 49 supply. Supply blocked for Noni. Compared to 59 supply for Love TT. Uh, not supply blocked. So, no, don't be supply blocked, Noni. You have to make more more pylons there we go making more and more pylons where is that oh the observers there has the shuttles moved out yeah i don't think they have observer does scout this big push big old push of six dragoons and three zealots coming across the map here for our friend love tt meanwhile noni does see the reaver already okay good scout good scout by love tt building those scarab they do cost 20 minerals each but they hit for 100 damage each so probably a fair trade all right so setting up with the contain here we go here we go, Dragoons, Zealots, splitting them. You notice he's splitting them here so that the splash damage from the Scarabs out of the Reaver won't wreck him. If everybody's clumped up, they have die very, very easily. Expansion already on the way for Love TT. That is definitely a Nexus. This is what we're seeing. Yep, the same timing here as... Oh, that's a Pylon. Oh, no. No one is a little bit behind, but again, he does have the Reaver. So we'll see if the Reaver is going to make, make enough of a difference here. Dragoon count looks about 9... Uh, about eight, I think. It is hard to count when they're moving like that, but I think Noni has the defender's advantage. Some more zealots joining the party, and look at this, Reaver with shuttle here as well. Observer scouting that one for Noni. He sees it. He knows that it's here. Now it's going to come down to who gets the best Reaver shots, who can focus down Dragoons one by one rather than letting them kind of pick, you know what I mean, rather than just kind of arbitrarily letting the AI decide what they're going to do with it. And here we go. Dragoons coming across the map. Can he... Uh, expansion? Okay, on the way for both players. I'm going to say Noni actually does have an expansion on the way now. And getting some shots off on this Zealot. And then pulling back. So just basically making Love TT pull back to his own home here. And then shooting on back home. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to decide what Noni's up to. He's just kind of dancing all around the outside. Is he looking for looking for information here? Picking off. Oh, picked off the shuttle. Oh, the Reavers are in a lot of trouble. They took down a good group of Dragoons there. But all of the Reavers are now dead for Love TT. That is a huge deal. You can't lose that. You can't lose that shuttle. And now suddenly pushing forward in a very strong position is Noni. It's going to be Dragoons versus Dragoons. But guess what else there is? There's also Reavers back here. Five Scarabs each. Two kills on that one. Big time shots. Ready to come. I'm sure Love TT is making additional ones in the background here. He is. He's got one queued up. And one that's just about to complete. But big time shots. Oh, big huge shot. Taken out a Dragoon. Another Dragoon does end up falling. And this is a bad, bad place for Love TT. It's two Reavers versus zero. Trying to come in and pick them off. Can he get the Reavers? No. Good pick up. Good pick up there with the shuttle. Shuttle still alive. Reaver still alive, and that's going to be it for Love TT. He's going to lose that final Reaver. It is now 52 supply to 69, and that is your game. Great job. Great little push there from Noni, keeping his Reavers alive. A huge part of Brood War, especially in PvP, is keeping the shuttle alive. It took some damage, but it didn't die, and keeping the Reavers alive as well. Love TT did not do as well a job. As he could have, and that cost him the game. I mean, it's uh, mirror matchups on the edge of a knife, ladies and gentlemen. Just so hard. So hard to win. But today, no needs your winner. So, all right, that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another StarCraft Brood War upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon. All at slash Falcon Paladin. 
And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.